Yo, that shit was boisin' boisin'. For real, for real. My lord, these fries are unequivocally fucking busted. <laughs> list a bunch of like you've got Tourette's quick use the Jesus discs Sorry. yes um <laughs> disc <laughs> <laughs> what's a Jesus disc I don't uh, know. Sorry. <laughs> it's like a uh, CD I'm gonna tell you off stream I'm gonna tell you off stream what a Jesus disc is but yeah you gotta want to want to know about this one can you, can, you send me, can you tell me to you uh, I want to know see now I have to make something up come on <laughs> <laughs> good with it god damn it today i'm gonna be telling you about the big ass numbers that come after a trillion let's get into this shit <laughs> first and foremost these fucking numbers are astronomical so we're gonna start with your goddamn fingers so you can try to imagine this shit the average person got 10 fingers all together a hundred the number of pennies in a dollar right. a thousand the number of miles between denver and san francisco good ten thousand as in ten thousand dollars oh a hundred thousand the number of light years it take your ass to get from left to right in the milky way 1 million, the number of miles between us and the Discover Telescope. 1 billion, it's 100 billion neurons in your brain. A trillion, goddammit. There are a trillion connections in your brain. Gah! 1 quadrillion, this is what the fuck a quadrillion dollars look like next to a plane. One fucking quintillion. The Buotis Void is 967 quintillion miles wide. Sextillion. It's over one sextillion grains of sand on fucking Earth. Septillion, bitch. Whoa, with me. Ugh. The number of stars in the observable universe. The next number is octillion, but I couldn't find shit that fucking big, but this is what it look like. Ugh. The next number is nonillion. This is the largest black hole in the world, T-O-N-618. If you look to the left right there, that is the entire Earth's orbit around the sun compared to it. This black hole weighs 289 nonillion pounds. Decillion. The sun weighs about 2 decillion grams. Mm decillion. The average black hole weighs 40 decillion pounds. Fucking tray decillion. Your average supermassive black hole can weigh 160 tray decillion pounds. It would take one decillion lifetimes to count to that number. The next is quartoro decillion. Bitch, that's 10,000 tray decillion. Quindecillion. Earth is fucking made up of 89 quindecillion molecules. Grr. Now these next few numbers are numbers that you can't fucking imagine. Which is why it ain't much shit that equal to this amount that we know. Of, but I wrote them bitches out for you. Six decillion. That's a ten with fifty-one fucking zeros. <laughs> Septen decillion. A ten with fifty-four fucking zeros. Octon decillion. A ten with fifty-seven fucking zeros. Novem decillion. A ten with sixty zeros. Vengentillion. A ten with sixty-three zeros behind it. At this point, we are reaching the amount of atoms in the observable universe. Now, two of the largest numbers in existence. The first one is a Google, a 10 with 100 zeros behind it, a centillion, a 10 with 303 zeros, and the last number is a Googleplex, a 10 with a Google zeros behind it. Yeah, I know, shit crazy, ain't it? <laughs> but yeah, bitch, that's it, that's the scale numbers go to, the shit go to infinity. If y'all fucking with this type of shit, bruh, put a fucking chicken leg in the comments, and hit the plus and follow your boy, I'm out, cool. Golly. You have to take a Midwest phrase and say it, right. yes. It's like Google Translate, except. We try this. Yeah. For Australian. Oh, sorry. Uh, f sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this one is, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the wind. Blowing a gale. It's blowing a gale. There you go. You say that. A no. gale. That's gale. it. F blowing a gale. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's literally it. Don't mind me, just sweeping. Ten dollars? Useless. <gasps> A bar of soap. Now I can be squeaky clean. First of all, thank you for that, because that's amazing. And second of all, I imagine that gender is non-Newtonian, sort of like oobleck, generally acting as a solid while under pressure, and as a fluid while not. You You'll be fine. <laughs> Are we recording? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I thought that was funny for some reason. Alright, next on ESPN2, the World Series of... I don't even know how to say that. I don't even know how to say that. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me that. Horm... <laughs>
Ormonger the World Serpent. <laughs> Ormonger. Horn. <laughs> We're going to leave it at Horn the Serpent. <laughs> Sorry, you paused. <laughs> World Series of Ejaculating in Court of Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me! Why are you looking at me? You read it! Who put it in? <laughs> I don't know! But it wasn't me. It wasn't me. No. Kissing grandma on the forehead and turning her life to put off. It's a World Series! How do you win? Uh, well, well, you're she doesn't. <laughs> No, no, no. Your grandma survives the longest out of the four. They give their life support on fly. I still think wins. And the spontaneous human combustion. The World Series. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> like dopamine or caffeine i think it would be so much fun to just get a random molecule this is my moment this is my time to shine i've been waiting for this and one of my chemistry professors specifically told me do not show anybody this tattoo so here i am ready to do it just a quick background about why i wanted a molecule tattoo in the first place uh i was a chemistry major in college and i actually had a really fun time i know that it's a difficult subject but for some reason i just had an affinity to it and it was a blast. So without further ado, here it is. Oh. And as with anybody who has a tattoo knows, the first thing people like to ask is, oh, what does it mean? What does it do? What is it used for? Let's just go ahead and take a look at that first line there. So with that in mind, the only real reasons that I settled on E-Stillbeam were, one, it looks cool. It's got hexagons. You look at those all year in organic chemistry. And two, I guess we're going to do part two. Alexa, intruder alert. Get the fuck out of my swamp. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll. As with some context for the upcoming clips. Now, Smitty's in-game name was Bapo. It's a name he uses quite a lot, I don't know why. And for some reason, we thought that coming up with words that rhyme with Bapo was just the funniest thing ever. We, we found it so funny that we literally did it for two hours. I don't expect you guys to understand it, but I hope you enjoy. Here's how it started. Wait, you call me cheater? <laughs> Bapo, no. <laughs> <laughs> when Bapo gets sleepy, Bapo just napo. <laughs> when Bapo say something racist on live TV, Bapo no flacco. <laughs> Bapo no flacco. Bapo got good PR team. Bapo no flacco. <laughs> when Bapo goes out on a windy day, Bapo's lips no chapo. <laughs> Once you go Bapo, you never go back up. When Bapo goes to a Mexican restaurant, Bapo get taco. <laughs> when Bapo has to shit, Bapo do crap up. <laughs> wow, this is just some top tier so, shit, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to shit so fucking bad. When Bapo, when Bapo got a run, Bapo take a lapo. <laughs> Bapo eat snacko. I'm, oh, I'm no. kind of hungry. Yeah, I think, I, think we're, I think we're overdoing it. When Bapo needs to know where he's going, Bapo look at a mapo. Dude, <laughs> I'm fucking done, boy. The taco one was the last one. That's when I stopped recording. <laughs> Bapo protect and Bapo attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we're not done. Maybe we're not done. That's boy. the last one. We're done, though. Who's that person from history? Can you guess with just these facts? This guy had a rough start to life. He lost his younger brother at nine years old and then his father at 13. Their favorite movies were some of the classics like King Kong and Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. You will not believe that this person was a Disney fan. Unfortunately, he couldn't always watch his favorite movies because he temporarily went blind after suffering from a mustard gas attack. He was not a fan of alcohol. In fact, instead preferred tea. This person was also a vegetarian and loved animals, believing the entire world would become vegetarians for moral reasons. He cared so much about animals, he outlawed the experimentation on them without anesthetic and tried to completely outlaw something called vivisection. 
In fact, because of his efforts, his country was the first country to host an international conference on animal welfare. He even made sure that other countries were obeying by some of these laws. He even threatened to put people in prison who believed that animals were still like inanimate objects. That's a quote. His country was also the first European country to shut down something called human zoos, where humans were displayed like animals. So who was this animal-loving, seemingly humanitarian political leader? He was the absolute worst. And I'm using this picture of him in shorts because he looks dumb and stupid. Long story short, really important to know the full story. One thing I never got about people, why do we think we've gone so far as a species? I know we like landed on the moon, split the atom and stuff, but we can't draw stars without putting lines in the middle. Think about it. I truly think we're doomed as a species because what is this? This was my first try. Vacuum cleaners and lawn mowers are so loud for what? There has to be a way to make them quiet. I love texting acronyms, but some of them make no sense at all. Where did LMAO come from? Was there actual laughing off of ass? Just so we're clear, we all hate the emoji movie, right? I've heard people say it's not terrible, and now, I'm, now we should avoid them. I love Minecraft, but the updates are starting to slowly make less sense. Like, squids can glow now. I saw this super messed up TikTok. It was like, y'all get an entire Pride Month, but this guy doesn't get one day. And it was like this picture of like this tall white man with a beard and long hair, and he was like standing in front of a, a glowing cross. Does anyone know who that is?